Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And greetings and salutations to Achim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. This is a response to um, the Apostle Kabar video in which he did dissecting, um, I guess, this guy off a of comedy hype who was asking questions to Bishop Nathaniel. And he said, he said, I don't want to be woke and broke. Uh, alluding to being in the truth will equate to you being broke. Though you're awoke or, you know, or conscious, I guess you could say. And that's very, un that's a very unfortunate um, materialistic mind frame to have. That's a very carnal and simplistic and based in rudimentary mind frame to have. And what you blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians have to understand is you have to understand that this society is about to be destroyed. These, this man, Esau Edom, who brought you over here on slave ships, these small hats and these and their brothers, they are about to push a digital system where you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have a an implantable C hip, C H I P. We have to say it like that for algorithm's sake, so the videos won't be compromised. But they're about to try to implant this into your right hand or your forehead. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have that device. So having the mind frame of chase the bag and in the Federal Reserve, you got to understand the Federal Reserve, the, the U.S. dollar is, is not is depletes in value by the day. Next year, sometime next year, there will not be a United States physical dollar. This is already in the books. So this is where we're headed. So to have that mind frame of, I got to get the bag, I got to get the house, the cars. Do, if you want to keep those house and cars, you're going to have to compromise your integrity and you're going to have to lose your salvation. You're going to have to get a, a, a implantable device into your body if you want to keep those cars, if you want to keep that house. So that that should be considered. There's nothing wrong with having, I mean, in all honesty, brothers in our circle, it's brothers who have this and that and that type of house and that type of lake. and But that is vain. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything when the day of the Lord cometh upon you. You know, this is the book of Luke, the 12th chapter and the 15th verse. And it reads, it says, and he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. All right. Now, let's go into that term covetousness. Because what the problem with our people is they're greedy. Our people are very greedy. And that's because they've been come up they've come up under this system. Alright, which is the system which is led and directed by Esau Edom, which is the self proclaimed white race, white man. And basically what our people are they're followers. Like that guy off a of comedy hype, he's obviously a follower of this. He's worldly. He's of this world. And that's why he can't see and comprehend the Bishop Nathaniel, which we know Bishop Nathaniel goes off, but he spoke truth to that point when he said America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Only one third is going to make it. Yeah, that's true. That's according to the scriptures. But after he said that this guy came back and started trying to talk about money and, and having cars. The man just told you America's about to be destroyed by missiles 
And the only thing you can think about the fatness of your mind and your in your in your covetous belly is how you how comfortable you could be. Showing you that our people are not going to be saved. That a man like that isn't, isn't going to be saved. He's going to die in America with his Ferrari. He's going to die in America with his Roly. With a goddamn chip in his goddamn hand. Thinking he looking cute. This is Luke, the 12th chapter, the 15th, 15th verse. It says, and take heed and beware of covetousness. Now let's get that term covetousness in the Greek. Pleonexia. In the context it was written, it is, this is the context it was written at the top word, which is pleonexias. And the root word is pleonexia. Look, see? Greedy, desire to have more. See? Our people are greedy, man. Covetousness, avarice. All right? Fraudulency, practices, greediness. All right? And these are not the characteristics that bring forth life. All right, look and let's look at Mark the seventh chapter, the twenty second verse. It said, "Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. These are characteristics of death, man. These are characteristics that if you exercise them, you're gonna lose. We're not in the nineteen seventies. America's about to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles soon. What do you think is going on in Iran?" What is the, the problem for our people is they're too stuck on stupid. The only thing they worry about is the NBA, uh, Real Housewives. They have no idea of geopolitics. These niggas watching Fox News and ABC News thinking they up to date. That's how stupid our people are, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And why is that? Because they reject knowledge. The guy who who was talking to Bishop Nathaniel, he he rejected the knowledge. Instead of inquiring and saying, you know, what do you mean America's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles? Can you can you explain that? Can you elaborate on that? He's just too stuck on his belly, man. And men like that, that's not a characteristic of a man of the Lord, man, who's just so cut caught up on his belly. On his, on his, on, on pleasing his flesh, man. That's a feminine characteristic as well. A real man is about sacrifice. It's about priority. It's about reason. That's a feminine characteristic to just be worried about what makes you feel good and what makes you comfortable. That's the weaker nature. And you should put that off. The scripture speaks about putting off the weak nature. It says, for a man's life consists of not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And that's what our people fail to understand, that your, your livelihood and your position and your status in life, it doesn't, it's not about how, what you have in the bank account, my man. It's about what you have in your heart. It's about your character. It's about your honor. Because... These niggas will do anything for a dollar. And this man, Esau Edom, will set you up for failure. He prints the money out. He controls the money system. So he don't give it. He got the power to to do these things. And so our people will do lewd acts of homosexuality and bestiality. Yeah, that, yep. That's what our people do. Your favorite rapper. All right, your favorite rapper, your favorite actor, these niggas are disgusting human beings, man. They they participate in all type of witchcraft and sorcery and sex magic and bestiality. This is what they this is what they do. 
and lie on them small hats to to go up inside their back. This is what they do. So if you want money, if you want money, then you, you don't have to do that. If that's if that's what you want in this society, if you want to be rich and successful. And okay, say you don't say you don't do that. Say you're you know you're gonna be into real estate or this and that. Okay, cool. But you do understand that you can't prioritize that over the truth. There's nothing wrong with having money, in all honesty. There's nothing wrong with having money. But this money in this this society is about to collapse. So you gotta you gotta think about the bigger picture. You have to consider the bigger picture. This society is about to completely collapse. All right. Do you see what's going on in Europe right now? The gas prices, the diesel fuel, the 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 shortage on grain and cooking oil, which is causing inflation because of the Ukraine war. Do you, you don't people don't understand? You don't understand what's about to happen in the next couple of months. Life is going to change drastically. Do you, do you know what will happen with when and if what well, not only if but when America and Russia goes head to head in war? You're not going to be able to use your telephone anymore. You're not going to be able to use your computer anymore. Russia will do EMP attacks. You're not going to be able to turn your your your. You're not going to have any electricity. What are you going to do then with all your money and your moolah and your cute toys that you bought? What are you going to do then when it, when it really gets real in the field? If you don't have the name of the Heavenly Father, I'll tell you this. And that's one thing that Bishop Nathaniel didn't say. He didn't, te- he didn't teach him the name of the Heavenly Father. But the scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. It says the righteous run into it and are safe. And that's uh, in the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter and the 10th verse, if I'm not mistaken. All right. But the Heavenly Father, if you put your trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, that's what our people also have to understand. You have to understand the power of the Heavenly Father is infinite and omnipotent. Yes, we'll be able to um um yes, we'll be able to eat in a time of famine. When when those where everybody else is starving, the Heavenly Father will feed his elect. Yes, we'll be able to do miracles. Yes, we will be able to multiply bread and fish as our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah did. All right? Yes, we will. But that's only if you are of his that's only if you if you're his, if you're one of his men. That's not going that those blessings are not going to be granted to everybody. Only a selected few. So, before you want to say um was I rather be you know I don't want to be woke and broke. Well, let's let's go to the book of Isaiah because real wealth and riches is this truth is this understanding, wisdom. All right. Let's go to oh, I passed it. Pardon me. Pass what I want to grab. Let's let's go to the book of Isaiah. It was 33 and 6. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Not money, not being, not having um, Federal Reserve USD dollars, not having cryptocurrency. All right. It says wisdom and knowledge, but you chill. You see this guy; he would choose having physical money over having wisdom and knowledge, and that's a fool. That guy's a fool, man. The dude who was speaking with the Bishop Nathaniel, and I guess Company High, whatever these guys are. These these guys are characters. They're stupid. You would choose to. You would choose carnal gain. Over intellectual wealth. That's stupid, man. 
And that's why Esau gives these niggas money. That's why all these dumbass niggas are allowed to have money. These All these rap niggas and these uh, entertainers because they're stupid and they don't know what to do with money. So yeah, he'll give a nigga money who's just going to go spend it on on some houses and some cars and and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on strippers. But you, don't, you ain't said none up. You're not establishing anything of legitimacy. But a nigga will spend 100000 on strippers, though, because he's stupid. He doesn't have wisdom and knowledge. He's just a nigga with money. And Esau knows that. That's why he gives these dumbass niggas his money. It's, the scripture says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. It says, And strength of salvation. It says, The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So having fear for Yahweh is a treasure, not Federal Reserve, no, not having, oh, I got, I got, I got fifty million dollars, I got two billion dollars. That's nothing, man. Look what happened to Kanye. Look how fast they took away this man's money. The scripture says, um, "Trust not in riches, because as 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 surely they they get, gain wings and and fly away." Look how fast he lost that money. But the thing about it, if you have wisdom and knowledge, somebody somebody can't just take wisdom and knowledge from you like that. That's in you. That's a part of you. All right? That can be used at any time. So it has a lot more value, man. A lot more value. Let's go to... um. Thessalonians. I ain't gonna make it long. I'm gonna probably finish it off on um on, on this one. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse two. It says, "For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night." All right, so it's not time to be worrying about coming up and being successful in this society. All right, the scripture says that we have to bear our cross like our Lord and Savior. All right, you're we're gonna have to suffer. <laughs> you gotta understand that. <laughs> See, our people don't want to suffer. That's the thing. I mean, nobody wants to suffer, but it's it's a part of the truth. It's a part of, you know, it's a part of the ministry. The term ministry means ser service. But what you have to also understand is our Heavenly Father, Yahweh <coughs> pardon me, Yahweh Bashim he's coming with deliverance. We're not going to have to be in America anymore. We're going to be able to have our own planets, our own country, our own vegetation with no GMO foods. Our own woman that's 100% virgin that's nobody else touched, all right? Uh, okay, our own children. We're not no baby mama this, no child support. See, a nigga, a nigga would be okay with having $100 billion in this society but having fucking baby mamas having him on child support. A nigga would settle for that because he's a slave. He's a slave. But we're we're seeking new heavens and new earth, man. A dwell of righteousness, where you don't have a nigga like Biden talking about nine years need to cut their penis off, need to have the the option to cut their penis off. That's what Biden says. But a nigga fine, as long as a nigga can get have some money, as long as a nigga ain't quote unquote broke, he good. Because he's a stupid slave, and he's gonna die in America with his stupid money. With a, with a device in his hand. All right? And he's going to die of thermonuclear, ther, thermonuclear missiles. And we warned you. It says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night. So it's going to come quick, man. This this society, this world, America's going to be destroyed in one hour, man. When those nuclear missiles are shot, it's it. That's a wrap. 
There's no more America. All right, China's going to shoot them. Russia's going to shoot them. Iran's going to shoot them. Pakistan's going to shoot them. Do you understand? India is going to shoot them. Europe, even Europe is going to shoot them according to biblical prophecy, Revelation the 17th chapter. And it speaks about the beast shall hate the whore. The European nations that have nuclear missiles, they're going to shoot them on America. North Korea is going to shoot them. What the hell are you going to do then? What are you, what are you going to do with your Ferrari then? Or your Bugatti or whatever the hell, whatever you niggas think you got going on. What are you going to do with your mansion and your, what you going to do? You're going to die. Because you didn't choose the fear of the Lord, man. You didn't choose to fear your how by Shemiel Shai. It says, verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and, the, and they shall not escape. Verse 4 says, but and they, that's these wicked niggas, all right? They're not going to escape the judgment that's coming because they didn't choose to fear the Lord, as I said. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, speaking of the elect. It says that it says that, that they should overtake you as a thief, right? Because we're watching. We're watching the prophecies. You know, we're keeping up with current events. We're giving diligent st study effort and you know, to understand the scriptures and teach them properly. And so we're we're paying attention to everything that's going on. So the day is not going to come on, come to us as a thief, as we be just sitting back and kicking it and, you know, not doing what we need to do, not doing our lessons, you know, not, not being a brother, not being on your watch. Because we're, we're supposed to be watchmen. We're spiritual watchmen. Not on your watch. All right. It says, verse five, it says, ye are the children of light. All right, but we follow you. How shall I? It says, in the children of the day. It says, we are not of the night nor of darkness. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Because what the nigga said, I rather, he said, I don't want to be woke and broke. Because that nigga, he's a sleep nigga. That's why the scripture says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So we need to be woke, man. We need to be, uh, you know, awake and aware and doing what's, what's appealing to the Heavenly Father. It says, but let us watch and be sober. All right, and that sober is meaning sober minded of the spirit. It's not saying watch and not drink alcohol. It's talking about being sober in the spirit. Matter of fact, let's let's get that term sober in the um Greek. Which is nephil. In the context is nef nephilmen. Nephilmen. And the root word is nepho, which is to be sober, be calm and collected in the spirit. So, right. So, be calm in the uncalm place. It says to be temperate, which temperate goes to be in balance. It says dispassionate, circumspect. So, we're supposed to be circumspect, paying attention, sharp. All right. And that's what nepho means. That's which, you know, that's what um sober means. Verse 7 says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And Yahweh Shah spoke of a parable. Or he, you know, he, it wasn't necessarily a parable. But um, yeah, it was, you could call it a parable. John, the ninth chapter, he said, he said, I must work the works of my father while it is day. He said, The night cometh when no man can work. All right, and that nighttime is Jacob's trouble. So right now is our time to make our call and election sure. Right now is our time to do what's needed to um be successful, all right, in the spirit to get the victory. Right now, not tomorrow, not waiting. And, oh, I'm gonna get with those guys later. I'm gonna do it later. No, that's when the day gonna come on you. Come, come on you as a thief. 
when you didn't inspect it, man. All right, so it's time to do it now. It's time to get right now with the Heavenly Father. All right. It says, for they that be drunken are drunken in the night. It says, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. All right. And so that's our hope to be saved ultimately. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Bahashim Kakodash. The Ba'ana City Elders, Apostle of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim. Shalom and keep the faith.